When I was recommended to uh, Dr. Nishat by my dentist, it was for a problem I had in my mouth that was dangerous. I had an infection in a back tooth and never having or not having been to the dentist in quite a long time, I was pretty fearful of oral surgery, which is what I was facing. But nonetheless, my dentist was um, uh, very confident that um, Dr. Nishat would be able to deal with my problem. And I didn't know, um, I didn't know new imaging. It was only a, as a recommendation from my own dentist, who spoke very highly of new image. And so uh, we came. I took, made an appointment, came in, Staff was very nice, very helpful, and um, that was the first time I met uh, Dr. Nishat. And he did, he, my, my memory of it, this goes back now a year or two, um, he was very, very personable. He put me at, at ease immediately, um, engaged me in conversation about my own personal life, uh, and just put me at ease and of course I had that memory with the drilling so I was looking for the needle right away to, to dull my pains and basically he did uh, he examined me looked in the mouth made it we made another appointment eventually he yanked out my tooth and uh, couldn't believe what he found because apparently there was a lot more uh, decay under the tooth than you could see from the x-rays so that came out he did a great job he had to sew up my gum there was a time period where um, uh, he prescribed a lot of painkillers, which I never needed to take. I don't know. I'm sure he, he did a terrific job with uh, uh, having my, my gum heal. And then I went back to see him again, and the gum was healed up correctly. And every time I went to the office, uh, he has a staff there who really um, is attentive. They, uh, they make sure you're comfortable. They don't make you wait. They, um, they escorted me into the examination room, very little waiting time, and of course when the doctor came in, uh, he was able to uh, examine me again, find out that all of the, the healing was, was, not, was, was being done, was doing nicely. And one other thing that he did which was not uh, in the cards was he noticed something on my lip uh, sun damage on my lip. I had mentioned it to the nurse before I had gone in there and um, it wasn't part of my examination but nonetheless he saw it and he asked me about it and apparently he has a lot of experience in Florida with uh, skin cancer especially around the lips. Now being in St. Martin for 25 years I never used sunscreen and so I did get something on my lip that didn't heal right away. Anyway, he saw it, and without uh, hesitating, he examined it. He said, I want to take a little biopsy of it and send it out for testing, which he did, and it came back uh, precancerous. And so he prescribed a treatment, which I've done already. It's been successful. And if it wasn't for him, I might not have, I might not have discovered it. And he did it on his own, with, uh, just with that little bit that I had written on that sheet of paper. He caught it and followed up on it, so I'm grateful to him for that. He was uh, very personable and gave me the impression that I was speaking to a friend rather than uh, a dentist or a surgeon. Now, I've had a few surgeries, major surgeries, so I know what that can be like and the preparation thereof, but he was very informal in his conversation uh, he was uh, friendly, very friendly, and I liked the way that he and his staff worked together. And it helped me, put, it helped myself, uh, it helped me to put myself at ease and also to um, allow me to relax a little bit, uh, especially in view of the fact that I was getting a, an implant and I was getting actually surgery, uh, which would have put me um, under. You know, they give you a needle to, to knock you out. So all of that considered, I sat in the chair there, very comfortable after meeting him, and very confident that uh, not only was uh, he um, recommended highly by my dentist, but also that he was a nice person. 
and someone who was uh, friendly and a lot different than I would have expected of, uh, of an oral surgeon.